Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March, uh, March 11th, 2020. So yesterday we had a really nice rally pushing things up, particularly in the afternoon. It got really nice and strong and then really pushed hard right at the end of the day. Uh, forcing forcing prices up nicely but this morning maybe not so much um, let's um, settle in grab yourself something to drink and let's take a look at the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning we're not looking quite as uh, lovely as we were last night and that seems to be kind of typical anymore we um, either move down sharply we rally up one day sharply and then we give up a great big portion of that move so this morning we're looking at a gap down of right now it, it continues to grow a gap down of more than 600 points giving up about half or more of yesterday's a nice rally um, in the market you can see pushing down here pretty substantially really punishing anyone that was brave enough to try and hold uh, stocks overnight these huge reversal swings are making it very very difficult to have much of any confidence to hold anything overnight and that's creating tremendous volatility or providing uh, additional reasons for the tremendous volatility here in the market and pretty punishing price action now over uh, you know during the night uh, Bank of England cut rates um, over there in Europe and that seems to be helping over there just slightly this morning but we're still struggling here because our rate cut uh, did nothing to help improve the situation and as virus numbers continue to grow there is certainly um, more and more fear um, in the market if you caught it yesterday um, Google, um, of its 100,000 or so uh, U.S. employees, they have asked them all, all to begin working from home. Um, you probably saw last night during the uh, campaigns, uh, campaign rallies were canceled due to fears of coronavirus. Um, CDC this morning is reporting that U.S. cases have now topped 1,000 as this looks like it continues to grow. National Guard has been called out in uh, to uh, contain an area around New Rochelle um, in New York to try and prevent uh, uh, virus spread. Um, Italy now has more than 10,000 folks infected as they are now mulling a full, a full countrywide shutdown to try and slow the growth of the virus. I got to tell you, um, we're probably, I, I wish I could say something different, but I think we're still at the very beginning of this problem, uh, particularly here in the United States, and this could get substantially worse before it gets better, uh, on the virus front anyway. And what that means is, is, that, is that the path forward for the market is, is just clouded in unbelievable uncertainty. No one knows where we go from here, and this is a kind of a new paradigm for the market in, in my 30 years years in trading never experienced anything like this and anyone that tells you that they can predict what's going to happen next in this is flat out telling you a big fish story because nobody knows um, there is no metric to measure um, a uh, an epidemic um, like we are experiencing right now worldwide ep epidemic and how those impacts might affect the overall market this is a learning curve for everyone and please keep in mind that it is a very dangerous trading environment and if you um, have um, very little experience in the market it would be wise to just be standing aside as a matter of fact if you have a lot of experience trading the market it is pretty wise to be standing aside with these kind of back and forth whipsaws that we're seeing here um, in the market as we speak we're continuing to fall here in the futures um, now down um, almost 670 points um, and I will expect that to just continue to whip back and forth um, as the morning progresses. 
So pretty ugly situation. Now, what do we got technically here in the charts? Well, technically, if we take a look um, in our chart here, you can see that we have broken down uh, below our 500 day moving average here in the diamonds and we did rally back up to test some price resistance in the chart here as you can see I'm going to draw a line across here real quickly to test some price resistance in the chart we bounce back up in here and um, crossed back above some price resistance but we still have significant levels of price resistance right above in here that we're going to have to deal with pretty substantial issues to deal with and still under the 500 day moving average so we've got a lot of work before we start resolving some of these major technical damage uh, damage charts um, in these indexes so this can take a while um, uh, you know a pack of lunch because you're going to need you're going to need some snacks along the way and it's going to be uh pretty rough and tumble as we try to correct um some of this uh, some of this massive sell-off let's take a look at the spy 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 made it up above its 500 day moving average yesterday and broke back through some price resistance levels here in the chart but unfortunately, we're gapping substantially lower here this morning, giving up a good half of the yesterday's rally, making, um, uh, well, obviously quite a little bit of uncertainty as to what comes next. If we see more selling, if we're going to hold a higher low, actually, we just don't know here. Pretty wild price action. And when we, when we see swings of 600 points overnight, pretty tough to base any technical decision decisions on that. Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's um, uh, made its rally back above its 200 day moving average. And that was a nice thing to see pushing up into these price resistance levels here in the chart. But unfortunately, we are gapping right back down here this morning and it looks like we're going to gap um, below the 200 day moving average, which could um, start to work as a little bit of resistance. Uh, one of the things we don't want to see is failing that 200 day and that slipping of the cues down into this 500 day like we've seen in the SPY and the diamonds. But that is certainly possible. Um, you can see we uh, broke down here rallied back up to test the 50 now down through the 200 any rally back up in here could certainly send us back down through that 500 here in the nasdaq so pretty ugly on the day um, let's hope those bulls step in and fight back hard or we could see some more uh, pretty harsh selling let's take a look at iwm iwm um, rallied up nicely yesterday but you know, not all that impressive. Um, popping into this price resistance here, unable to push through that. And uh, now this morning, gapping substantially lower here um, on IWM. And I think there's a, a tremendous possibility that IWM will see the 2018 lows here before we're finished up. Um, you know, right now, the, uh, the federal government is really pretty powerless against solving this problem. Um, as you heard yesterday, the president came out and proposed a uh, zero uh, percent payroll tax through the end of the year to try and help folks being affected by the coronavirus. But... Um, if history repeats itself, um, stimulus packages can take five to six months to get passed through Congress. They're already starting the political uh, back and forth battle um, on that. So it's unlikely we're going to see uh, uh, the president's plan get passed. There'll be some version maybe that comes out, but it's going to be um, down the road um, likely. And um, these pressures and problems that the market is seeing aren't going to go away easy. And clearly rate cuts um, don't have anything to do with solving a virus uh, situation. And um, if they continue to cut rates, um, I'm not sure that it's going to be effective at all as this um, continues to spread across the United States. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. The VIX had a little pullback yesterday, but after a thousand point move, you kind of would have thought we'd have had a little bit bigger pullback than we did. So 
got a little bit of a rest in the VIX, a little bit of um, pullback, but certainly um, an awful lot of support level in here that could still bounce us higher. This morning with a um, 600 point gap down, we can expect we're probably gonna bounce back above that 50 handle and that could make things pretty uncomfortable for a lot of folks here in the market. If the bulls don't fight back hard, if the bears come rushing back in, watch that continue to potentially spike up. And if we look at a longer term chart, here's a weekly, um, notice that we can go significantly higher. We have in the past, back here in 2008, 2009, ran up here to an 80 handle so that's certainly possible and we seem to be acting in much of the same um, same way as we did in 2008 um, with the fear um, that is seems to be pervasive here in the market let's take a look at t2122 now t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see yesterday we had a nice little bounce here let's oops, go to the daily had a nice little bounce up here in the market but very little relief here in t2122 and it's really because we're so overly sold right now um we're just we've just been bouncing along the bottom of the ocean here here and haven't been able to really pick up but we still are in that bullish reversal zone unfortunately um, the uncertainty in the market may keep us down here in this oversold condition for a while it's finding it very difficult to pop up out of there so be really really careful everyone we've got a lot of work yet to do before we start solving these technical problems and we shouldn't be thinking of uh, the typical um, bounce back rallies that we've seen here in the last few years where we get that that big scare and then we just turn around and bounce all the way back up it doesn't look like that's the kind of thing that's going to happen here in fact it's probably going to be a more typical bottom um, where we spend a lot of time bouncing around trying to set a bottom before things start to calm down let's take a look at our economic calendar for today um, we do have um, something on the calendar today that could certainly move us around you can see here at 8 30 a.m eastern time we have the cpi report now cpi right now con con uh, consensus estimate is for a pretty decent number um, hopefully we haven't seen these virus um, impacts starting to trickle into that number yet because if that were to really disappoint we could see the market um, uh, get a knee-jerk reaction substantially lower so hopefully that holds up today when those numbers start trickling in I suspect our economic numbers are going to start to show signs of weakness as uh, those coronavirus impacts begin to trickle into these economic numbers. Keep in mind, we have the EIA Petroleum Status Report today. That's going to be probably fairly critical to those oil companies. And with the uh, price war going on um, uh, with OPEC, Russia, um, who knows where that may come out, could um, actually push oil prices lower if we continue to see uh, those supply builds and then we have treasury budget here at 2 p.m unlikely that moves us around much so although we have had a rather light day today or this week on the economic calendar there are certainly a few things to be concerned about here today on that calendar now on the earnings front we have about 120 companies reporting earnings this morning and um, on that earnings front, if we take a look, we have a few notables, but none of the, they wouldn't be the kind of companies that you would think would overcome the virus concerns that we have here in the market. Uh, TACO, Del Taco is reporting um, earnings today. We'll want to keep an eye on that, but certainly in a pretty ugly downtrend here on Del Taco and um, has not reported yet just a wide bid ass spread so far here this morning um, expr also reporting this morning no report there you can see that wide bid ass spread um, h a b t and these are just a few of uh, the notables that um, um, I kind of picked out, um, you may have different notables, but a few notables that I picked out that could be moving around. Um, LK, LK also reporting this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. 
we all need coffee, right? We all need coffee even during a market sell-off. So maybe that'll um, show up and do pretty well this morning. Um, UNFI. Whoops. Hopefully I got the right ticker. There we go, UNFI. You can see it's going to report this morning. Big wide bid ask spread, no report there just yet. VRA is another one I've got on my list. And ZAGG. But as you can tell, none of these are the kind of companies that you would expect to really move the market around um, with their reports. So uh, primarily the market's going to be focused on uh, coronavirus fears, um, um, government interventions, uh, those kind of things to take its cues from. And unfortunately, um, it's likely going to stay that for stay that way for some time. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I, I know this is it's hard to say that sometimes. I wish you a great day when I'm telling everyone, hey, be really, really careful, protect your capital. Um, it's okay to just pop some popcorn, put up your feet, and watch the show from the sidelines to protect that capital. But I want to wish you all a great day. And you know, sometimes a great day is just that protection of that capital that you may have lost by um, trying to force a trade or jump into um, such a wild price action market. So um, it's it's a good day to hold on to, to your money and um, prevent those big losses from occurring so you can have a good day it's just we have to reform it here just a little bit let's take um um also if you guys could do me a favor if um you could um click that subscribe button on youtube if this is the first time you've seen these videos um click that subscribe button and then also click that bell icon um so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos you know there's more than 500 video or excuse me almost 750 videos now on the youtube channel because i put out these daily videos and if you guys find these helpful if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps me out an awful lot. And um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything that you do there to help this channel continue to grow. Um, means the world to me. And um, I thank you for all those kind comments. So with that, um, I, I, I want to say let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up and although there are some things out there we're going to have to look at very quick time frames to find anything that's in a really good pattern um, one of the stocks that I brought up yesterday um, to folks in um, RWO had some real back and forth um, in the price action there and making it a little bit challenging to trade but we have to go on a kind of a short time frame and that would be Kroger. Now, Kroger yesterday ended up with a nice rally by the end of the day. And you can see, moved up nicely, held a price support right in here on this chart. Held a price support. But if I show you this on a 15 minute, you'll see that we whipped all over the place. So we had a nice rally and it was right in here yesterday where I suggested there might be an opportunity for a trade on a 15 minute chart. And we went up nicely and then pulled most of it back, held that support and then by the end of the day rallied on up. But there are those kind of defensive sector stocks holding up pretty well or trying to find some recovery. And these are the kind of stocks that you might want to be looking for those defensive sector stocks it's it's the areas where we know these things are going to continue to be needed throughout um, throughout any kind of crisis in the market so we're definitely going to be needing grocery stores and, um, and the, that food supply so kind of keep an eye on those we we're probably not going to stop drinking coca-cola had a nice rally back on coke yesterday you can see it's gapping down but we're probably going to need uh, those to continue. I, I can't imagine um, um, I can't imagine people just suddenly deciding because of the virus we're going to stop drinking Coke. Um, so look for some of those defensive sector stocks. Um, it's going to be difficult 
sledding here for some time and what I've been recommending to folks is if you want to trade switch to a relatively short time frame and look for those good price entry points on those short term time frames where we get those holds of support and little higher lows breaks of downtrends to look for those quick entries in and out of trades to bring in some money but if you're not capable of doing that fast price action trading what it tell what that means is we have to wait if you look at a an hourly chart we still have a lot of work here before we really start to show um, great signs here in these hourlies and if you uh, prefer um, even longer term charts on that it's going to be a while before we start getting any good technical patterns to trade so everyone i want to I, I want to just um, voice that it's very, very important um, that you're trading with a plan, that you know exactly how much risk you can take in a market, that you are exercising extreme discipline in this market. It's so easy to get caught up in the hype and the drama and things like that and jump into this market and just lose that money so fast. And I hate to see that happen to anyone. So. Please be very, very careful as we move forward. Everyone, I want to say thank you for uh, uh, for watching the video, and um, I hope that you got something out of this. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good night.